Got you in the right spot. I should hit this other button. There it goes. Because tonight, camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two, we're on Facebook Live and Instagram Live with our friends from Jack Daniels. And as the virus has spread um, across the world, we've all asked ourselves what we can do to help our communities. Um, and in the recent weeks, you know, the music community has been devastated. Um, and it leaves a lot of us out of work, a lot of local musicians, creators, professionals, riggers. It, it all leaves us kind of a little uncertain. So our buddies at Jack Daniels made a very generous donation. I want to get this right. If I don't say this right, I'm going to really, I've got my notes right here. To the Sweet Relief Musicians COVID-19 Relief Fund. Whew, got it. That way it can keep us alive and thriving. So they've made their donation. And if you'd like to tonight, you'll have an opportunity. There'll be a link that you can click. Um, whatever you can give, uh, it just keeps us, it gives us a little peace of mind. Uh, but anyway, enough business. I uh, hope you're doing well tonight. I don't usually do live streams this late in the day, so cheers. I hope you have your responsibly poured beverage in your hand. And I thought we would start out where I grew up uh, on that little cattle farm in Arkansas, there wasn't anything. There was a Walmart about 43, 45 minutes away. Uh, that's where the high school was too. And in one direction, you could get the oldie station. It was called Cool 104.7 Hardy, Arkansas. And in the other direction, you could get K-Country 95, which was uh, at the time a country station in Thayer, Missouri. And that's the only two things. There's no satellite, there's no internet. And that's not just an age thing, that's a geography thing, that we didn't have those things. And so I kind of fondly looked back at it as being called Radioland because there wasn't anything out there except the radio station. And we didn't need anything but the radio station because your school lunch menu was on the radio. What was showing at the theater that had two screens, the twin cinema, that was on the radio station. The songs you wanted to sing and the way you wanted to be and your heroes, they all lived in the radio station. And as a matter of fact, there was a time of day that you could call and say, well, I got this freezer full of meat and it, the freezer went out and we're just giving it away or best offer or whatever. Y'all don't let this meat go to ruin. You could call the local radio station and say that type of thing, leave your number, people would come and get it. So everything we needed happened on the radio.
hard to read the comments. I'm trying. And I know it's weird because my eyes are darting all over the place. Hello, Norway. I don't know what time it is there, but it seems like it's probably night time. Let, let me show my ignorance um, by trying to guess what time it is in Norway. Um, I was trying to think of things to do tonight, and um, I had a request that I only do my stuff, which I'll be honest, sometimes to me is kind of boring because I made these songs up, and um, I forget like songs like Radio Land, how much joy I get out of singing that and where that song came from. So we're going to tackle a couple of those uh, right now. So if we have Mary in Arkansas, well, hello, Don Hanks. I'm glad you're tuned in. I'm going to do a song about Arkansas. Uh, when I wrote this song, I can't remember what age I was. I'm trying to remember who I lived with at the time. Um, I was really, really broke. And I don't mean like a little bit broke. I mean... So the, the, the person that I was living with was from Batesville, Arkansas, and I'm from Mammoth Spring, Arkansas. They're not very close to each other. Um, and I don't mean they're sort of not close to each other. I mean they're far apart. And I said, man, do you think we could drive to Arkansas today just to drive through Arkansas and come right back? And she said, we literally don't have enough gas money to drive to Arkansas. So we were going to drive like five-ish hours there and back. So I didn't have any choice but to go to my bedroom and in the bedroom where I was sleeping was an air mattress and my guitar. And I closed my eyes and I thought, what does Arkansas sound like to me? When you drive those little highways in Arkansas, what does it sound like? It's sort of like, it looks a little bit like Kentucky in some places. It looks a little bit like Alabama in some places. And in Arkansas, the wildflowers are a protected species, which are like, thanks Wikipedia. No, it's a really cool thing. It's illegal to take wildflowers away from their their home state there and so I closed my eyes why is that not working um, that'll work um, and thought about driving through why is that not working is it the third I'll find it just at this minute maybe it's here can't be it's not please stand by it's because it's on this fret that's why so I'm using um, two different capos, a shove capo and a shove shortcut capo, which is the equivalent of going into uh, an alternate tuning without going into an alternate tuning. So basically I'm just being lazy. There it is. So when I closed my eyes and thought about home, it sounded like... Just a mile from the only home I've ever known. My first kiss was in that old tin barn. That old hayloft helped me break my arm. I can't remember if I cried at all. I miss you.
this concrete empire outside my window frame tonight. Can't hold a bonfire like an Ozark mountain campsite. The lights on Broadway, they call me out. I came out here to make you proud. You know you'll catch me if I fall. I miss you, Arkansas. I miss you, Arkansas. I miss you. that song in forever. Um, I better tune my guitar while we're at it. So I had a few requests today. I'm going to try to to get all of them in. Sweet little guitar. Got two out today. And I get asked a lot, what year is this? And they ask me, what year is your old Martin? You'll notice it does not say Martin on the headstock or anywhere on the guitar. Um, I have some great Martin guitars. One of them being my father's, one of them being my John Prine model. Um, but this one is a pre-war, uh, and that's the brand, and I love it. I played John Osborne's one time and went immediately to see if I could find one. Let's see. Oh, yes. Let's do this. Come on, little guitar. So this one is a 2019 pre-war. That one is a 1942 Gibson. Ah, oh, come on. So, um, I got some mail. Very excited to get packages on the porch. They do not joke around here about leaving the packages. Um, like they, nobody came anywhere close to my door. And then, of course, you have to wipe everything down once you get it inside. But I got a package, and I was super excited. It was very light, and I opened it up, and on the inside, mm, selfie cam, so the other shoulder, it's that guy, a little tiny Jack Daniels. I was so excited to have a Jack statue, and then I opened it, and I pulled it out, and, and you know why it's so light? Because it's styrofoam. There is no more perfect gift for me in quarantine than anything made of styrofoam. discovered a method that was first discovered by Carl Munters, an inventor from Sweden. I looked it up. Anyway, old Ray found a way to make large quantities of extrudent polystyrene in a closed cell foam form that was resistant to moisture. But you and I know it as styrofoam. And that reminds me tonight on my way home. I need to hit the quicksand. Say, hey, what about Mother Nature? 
McIntyre. Thank you, Carl Munters. And thank you, Steve, the guy at the quick tag. nap time evidently i saw some comments go by about styrofoam it is a fun song randall clay wrote that song of course it's on the new record um while we're going through uh song after song after song here guys please remember in in the meantime please sanitize your uh, your car keys if you've been anywhere sanitize um your steering wheel your uh truck handles um I had to go somewhere today, but not for very long, and I had to sanitize everything when I got back. And then your doorknobs, things like that. Make sure you're keeping those things in mind. If you do get a package, cut that sucker open, sanitize everything. You can't be too careful right now. Um, hmm. Okay. So once upon a time, once upon a summer, I was at Terry Joe Box's house, and you recognize her name from a lot of songs that I've written with her and Randall Clay. We wrote this song with Leith Lofton, and we were on Terry Joe's patio, which a lot of time has to do with several different beverages while you're there. And Leith said he would like to have a song about being on the water and kind of a summer song, could we write one? And I said, I don't know, because I don't swim. I mean, I'm not a strong swimmer. I've never been water skiing, and I don't know how to drive a boat. I'm sure it's not that hard. And actually, since that day, I've driven a boat, not that hard. Um, don't ask me to park it. And I said, that's, that's all I know about being on the water is that I don't know how to do these things very well. And he said, what do you know about water? And I said, I like whiskey on water. And he said, isn't everything better on water? It's been a really long time, but it was requested. So let's try it. You're disturbing the animal. Let's try it. Better on the water. Top flip flop coming off sun black boom box pick a song get it on sun drop roll a rock shine by the low social distancing and it's just like two people in kayaks six feet apart you could do that maybe but today it's been really cold in Nashville which I don't appreciate and I did not approve let's see what other business we have to take care of uh, today oh yeah if you're not feeling well in any way uh, sniffle maybe allergies just stay home 
um, a little bit of dry cough, just stay home. It's not that hard. We have people out there at FedEx and UPS that are keeping the world running. We have our freight drivers and our locomotive drivers, our farmers and our tradesmen, and most importantly, our healthcare workers, and they're out there because they have to be, so let's keep them safe. Oh, well, let's see, what are we gonna do next? It's close. Hello in Wisconsin. So I'm trying to catch some comments here as they as they fly by. Hello, Colorado. Drinking Jack Daniels and enjoying Ashley. Hey, thanks very much. All right, um, yeah, I had a, a request for a song that's about my father, and um, yeah, I don't mind doing that. Actually, man, I wish I, I should be playing his guitar right now, because I actually wrote this song because of his guitar. When I was little, I was probably seven or eight, and I picked up his Martin D35S. It's a 1983 model, so it's a year, no, 82 model, so it's a year older than me. I picked it up, and back then, I would pick guitars up and I would play them kind of like this. Because I was too small to play them correctly, and it wasn't safe for the guitar. And my father picked me up by my elbows, lifted me all the way to his face, and said, don't you ever touch that guitar again, do you understand me? And I said, yes, sir. And he said, they don't even make them like that anymore, do you understand me? And I said, yes, sir. So I never touched it again, until his 70th birthday, he wasn't at home, so I went to his house, I knew what closet it was in, I pulled the guitar out, I sat in his leather chair, and thought I was going to write a song in spite of that old bird dog, and instead it was about him. Every song he sang was my favorite sound. He'd be the last one on if the ship went down. The kind of man who feels good to be around. The kind of man who feels good to be around. He had hair as white as a cotton field. He'd spin you a story like a wagon. Never went nowhere without a rod and reel. Lord, I miss that man. Always will. I miss that man, and I always will. He'd see through a lie like an old screen door. Taught me how to hunt, how to love the Lord. Carried a Bible. Just don't make them like that no more. He said, take what you've got, do the best you can. Best thing you'll ever own is a piece of land. Y'all, he knew his like the back of his hand. He was something else, my old man. It was something else, my old man. He'd see through a lie like an old screen door. Taught me how to hunt, come on, Obi. And how to love the Lord. Carry the Bible out of 44. Just don't make him like that no more. I saw him strum this thing every chance he could. He left it to me like he said he would. And if you ask me why it sounds so good, it's cause I'm holding more than strings and wood. I'm holding more than strings and wood. So 
I saw a comment go by that says, do the extra verse. If it's your first time to hear this song, there is an extra verse. It's not extra. It's the original version. But when we went to make my EP, it was too long. So we had to cut part of the song off. But we're not on an EP. We're on a live stream. He taught a little girl how to be a man To help her neighbor every time she can To keep a song in her heart now and then So playing this guitar is like shaking his hand Playing this guitar is like shaking his hand He'd see through a lie Like an old screen door Taught me how to hunt And how to love the Lord Carried a Bible and a 44 They just don't make them like that no more No, they just don't make them like that Thank you for that request. Um, oh, thanks. Beautiful. I'm glad it's your favorite song. It feels weird to like read in front of you guys because I'm not like a really fast reader. I'm not terrible. But you should see me do liners. That's why I write things down on paper. In black, on black paper in silver Sharpie so like words are really clear to me because they all kind of run together to me. Opie, bring me your bone. Bring it here. Bring me the bone. Bring me the bone. He's just going to throw it around in the background because it's convenient. Come here. Come here. Get that bone. That's. Isn't he beautiful, though? Okay. Go. Get up here. Be good. Even Opie's wearing a Jack Daniels bandana. I can't figure out what song I was going to do next. Um, you know what I'll do? I'll grab this older guitar. Now, I haven't done this song in forever, but one of the girls from my girl crew text me and said would you asked if I would do it and there was an accident which involved humidity if you know anything about wood at all humidity for a guitar needs to say about 48 45 percent humidity dropped from 48 to 27 percent in this room which means all kinds of bad things were happening to this guitar I don't know if you can see it um because because of the glare but there's three really big cracks in the back of this guitar and there's two really big ones in the front and that devalued the guitar enough that I could buy it. And this was like, oh man, I was working for Guitar Center, so this would have been, I mean, 10-ish years ago. And it smells like a library book. It's got such a cool sound. And it's actually not built for songs like this, but going to use it anyway because it doesn't mind being half stepped down. So girls, girl crew, here you go. I would say that this song is about, I guess it's about being in the friend zone or maybe it's just the, those little moments where you go, maybe I should, and you don't. Uh, or maybe there's an excuse where you're the ones like, I don't, I don't know. And then you're like, God, what if I had, um, so anyway, I'm getting worse at explaining songs as I get older. Close enough. Bye. So this is the part where we'll call it a night. You'll get in your car and I'll get into mine. You're thinking about me. I'm thinking about you And we can go home alone Like we always do But what if we don't? What if we don't? What if we stop fighting What we know we both want? 
And, and Randall Clay. Again, two characters that you hear very, very often in my songwriting. Uh, let's see. Well, let's just stay with the old guitar for the while. It sounds cool, right? I'll tune it a little bit. There we go. fan too. I'm a huge Brandy Clark fan. Maybe on another episode we can do some Brandy Clark songs that I love. Um, we have a few minutes left together guys so cheers. I hope the kids are done with their schoolwork. I hope your dinner is either easy to make in just a minute or almost done. I've been asked a few times if this is a true story. It is absolutely a true story. This character lived in Florida, right next to Nicolette Hayford. In fact, three doors down from Nicolette Hayford. He was not a bad dude. He just had a bad habit. And I knew a lot of people like that. Um, you know, growing up in the community that I grew up in and just geographically where I grew up, there's not a lot to do. If you're just looking to do bad things, you can find those things to do pretty easily. Um, so you could, you could make meth pretty easily out there. You could make moonshine pretty easily out there, though I will admit in high school, I never did find anybody um, that made any moonshine. Uh, oh, come on, guitar. Close enough. Used to roll my cigarettes on the hood of my Tacoma. Sit and watch the world go by. I was 17.
that's good though. Um, I've got time for, looks like one more tune, uh, if that. But you know what? I've been asked to, to watch my language. Um, and that has a bad word in it. I, that song is, has the bad word in it like 15 times. So, uh, let's take a left hand turn there. I could just bleep it, I guess. Can I just mute that word in my vocabulary? I'm not sure if I can. Because I kind of need to hear this song today. Um, I wrote this song about, it was at a time when I was playing at the Blue Bar, not a Blue Bar, sorry, that's a lie, the Rusty Nail um, on Tuesday nights. So Monday nights was Dan McGinnis from McGinnis Girls. Tuesday night was the Church of the Rusty Nail, or as we called it, Trucker Hat Tuesday for a long time. And Wednesday nights was Blue Bar. And I met all these characters playing there, and I met the who would become my tribe, my favorite people in the whole world. And I would wind up writing a Grammy-nominated first record with these weirdos. And a second record with these weirdos. Sorry, I'm tuning, guys. We tune because we care. All right, pretty close. And I wrote this song on my mom's couch. So what I'm gonna do is try to just bleep out the bad word. I wrote it on mom's couch the same day I wrote Bible in 44. And, um, well, very close, very close, because it was during the holiday season. It was, it was in November. And um, I started writing, so I had a bad word in it. And mom goes, do you think you could sing it with, like, the other version of that? Could you say Son of a Gun? So I was like, sure. I tried it, and I sang Son of a Gun. She goes, you're right. You know what? You're right. It's the other word. So what I'll do is just bleep that bad word out. Because if you've never had a friend who had a tip jar that they lived out of, mine, mine was a gas can that I had cut in half, um, that sang six nights a week, four hours a night, five hours a night with no breaks and half price appetizers is how we got paid a lot of the time. If you've never had one of those, you have one now. And I miss getting to say that in the bar. If you've never had a friend who does this for a living, you have one now. It's been a pleasure to be with you tonight. Make sure you tip your bartenders. Drive safely on the way home. And then I would end the show with this song. That was about all of us weirdos. And there's one line that sticks with me forever, and it's, we can't let the songs go unheard. So even though we're all in quarantine right now, and we're self-isolating, we're being very responsible, we're trying to be there for each other in the future and stay healthy, we can't let the songs go unheard. So freaks like me are gonna sit on their couch with their guitar and be doing this anyway. I'm gonna leave you with this song. Thank you so much for tuning in. We wanna thank our friends at Jack Daniels for making such a generous donation. I gotta get it right to the Sweet Relief Musicians COVID-19 Relief Fund. Thanks for doing that, guys. And thank you to everybody who gave tonight. Make sure you um, stay home responsibly. If you have to travel for essentials, get your essentials responsibly. And while you're home drinking, drink responsibly. Don't hurt yourself. Whiskey is to be enjoyed. You be nice to it, it will be nice to you. No, I don't make much money. I'm crazy, I'm told. They pay me to play, and I'll put on a show. I just do what I love, and I live on the road. Ain't I the lucky?
best ones are gone now. They're deep in the ground. David Bowie and Prince. They paved the way before we came around. Joe Diffie and John Prime.